功夫，大家就聽得多啦。外國人教詠春，大家有冇見過呢？今集異鄉人請食飯嘅主角係詠春師傅 Nima， 佢對詠春嘅了解咧就夠曬精心啦，仲喺香港開設咗間詠春學校，我哋一齊去拜訪下佢啦。Hi, I'm Nima, and I'm from Australia, and I've been teaching Wing Chun for 21 years, and I've been living here in Hong Kong for 16 years. Nima, I want to ask you, why did you find so many martial arts in Hong Kong? Actually, it was by luck that I found Wing Chun. I was 14 years old in Australia, and during those times, there's no internet access, so it's all with the Yellow Pages books. And、um, I was getting into a lot of fights in Australia, in the in the area, and at school that I was that I was living at. So I decided to learn a martial art. So I opened the Yellow Pages, and、um, I found the biggest, brightest, colourful ad because I thought this school must be successful. And it just happened to be a Wing Chun school. So it was just by luck. You 啱啱講咗十四歲就第一次接觸詠春啦，同埋點解你會諗到由澳洲帶到嚟香港嘅咧 ？When I first started,、um, when I was 14, I was only training a couple. Of times a week, but then within a within two or three years, I started to practice full time. During that time,、uh, my Sikong, which is my Sifu Sifu, he came he came to、uh, Australia for seminars. When I met him, he was he was back then he was like a seventy year old man, skinny man. When I felt what he could do, I was so amazed. I was so surprised and so amazed that right then and there, I decided to. Follow him back to Hong Kong so I can start to directly train under him. When I came here, I was 21 years old. Yeah. 咁你嗰阵时训练呢个泳春有冇经历咗啲咩咧 ？It was quite tough in the beginning of training because we were practicing six hours a day, some days nine hours, and it was mainly cons consisting of just standing still and moving very, very, very slowly. So the legs and the and the knees and the feet was quite painful. So six hours a day, and I trained with him for a period of nine years full time, and then. He passed away, and then I continued my own practice after that. Nima, you're 二十几岁嚟到香港，去到依家，你有冇一下系觉得后悔或者系啊，即系不如我翻翻去澳洲好过咧 ？Um, no, there was. I mean, times were tough, but I decided to come here and training with him for so many hours. Even until the end, every time, nearly once a week, I would still be amazed at what this old man could do, his ability. So that was what was keeping me here. Then. 咁点解？會突然之間你走咗去開詠春學校去教我哋香港人詠春咧 ？Actually,、uh, one thing that sort of pushed me in the beginning to think about it was Master Choi, which is my teacher. He he one time he said he looked at me and I said, "When are you going to start teaching? When will you start to open a school?" He did say that the best way of training is to be able to teach something. The best the best way to get really good at something is to be able to teach it to different people. So because I really wanted to make it really make it my life and Get as good as I can. 咁依家啱永春學校咧就上咗軌道啦。唔知依家佢嘅課程係點樣咧？學生方面咧係小朋友多啊，成人多定係兩樣都有咧 ？Things are going quite well now.、Um, in the, in the, initially, when we first opened, it was very, very difficult, very tough. We, we were starting to teach just on beaches and on the public areas, outdoors, because we couldn't afford rent.、Um, there was a period for a period of about two years. Honestly, the only money we would make in here was for rent and for training. So we didn't even have money for food, and slowly we build up, we build up, we build up. Now we have, now we've become the biggest kung fu full-time kung fu school in Hong Kong. We are the biggest for sure. Yeah, more than all the local schools also. So yeah, the biggest numbers is the kids. The kids classes、um, are the biggest.、Uh, we do a lot of private lessons, so one-on-one -on -one training with the adults and the normal general classes. But the kids, I think. Maybe we have five times more kids classes than adults. 咁嚟到一個現實啲嘅問題啦。咁始終咧，你係一個外國靚仔樣啦，係咪？咁講起詠春咧，係一種好傳統嘅中國功夫。咁唔知其他嘅詠春師傅或者其他嘅詠春學員對你呢位外國樣嘅詠春師傅又有冇啲咩意見？去到同其他嘅詠春師傅溝通嘅時候，佢哋又會唔會覺得你好似唔夠專業咁 ？So in the beginning, when we first start open the school, start teaching, we were actually We got some of that from the from the local people that would come. So they would maybe see an advertisement and they would come up. They would see us and they say, "Okay, so who's the Sifu?" You know, they say, "Us, you." But you're not Chinese. So we would meet that in the beginning a little bit. And as soon as they say that, I say, "Okay, come and feel, come and try." And as soon as they try, they say, "Oh wow, what is this? It's very different because the type of Wing Chun we do, or my 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 Sifu did, or my teacher did,、um, is very different to other types of Wing Chun. Even though、um, it's still Yip Man Wing Chun, but His method is 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 
different to others. I think that's one of the main reasons that we became successful. So in my teachers, other students, and his family, they are full supportive of, of, of what I'm doing and of our school because they can see that uh, we are expanding and we are, we, are, we are preserving his legacy, not only in Hong Kong. I always teach seminars and I have uh, a lot of students in Australia that have opened up their own schools. So, uh, so I have a lot of grand students in Australia, a lot of affiliate schools. But in terms of full time, for me, Hong Kong is home. Out of my entire life, Hong Kong has been a place where I've been staying the most, uh, the longest. I met my wife here, had my kids here. I mean, I love Australia, but when I go back, I get bored, mm. you know, because every at five o'clock, six o'clock, yeah, it's everything closes, you know. First thing, when I came here, I couldn't handle the business, but now I've transformed to, you can say a honky, because now oh. I, Exactly. Now, now the quiet I can't handle. Next, you have any dreams for your school and your school? Do you want to go to the school more and more or go to the country? The plan for the future within Hong Kong is to, have, to, to expand our team. Because right now we're getting um, a lot of uh, requests for going out to different schools, international schools, and we're going to start with some local schools as well. And, different clubs like clubhouses and clubs outside of our school to teach kids classes. Because we don't just teach them Wing Chun, we teach them about posture, we teach them about ethics, we teach them about how laws of success. Because as I said, this method is quite unique. There's a lot of people around the world that before COVID that were coming, other Sifus from other Wing Chun, coming to learn this method from us. Now that they can't come, through the online school they're doing that. So we have around 700 students in the online schools and once, um, once we can travel, we will go and do big seminars in all different kinds of uh, different parts of the world. So hopefully we will have branches of Mindful Wing Chun in all the different continents of on Earth in the years to come. Nima 我們上次去完尼瑪師父的泳池學校參觀和學習泳池之後 First, we need to All right, chop so some, garlic. some garlic and some onions first. And what is your favorite food or dishes you eat in Hong Kong? In Hong Kong, my favorite would be uh, definitely dim sum. Mm. Yeah, yum cha. I like the I like the whole. I mean, the food is really great, but mm. also the whole the, the culture. Yeah, oh. I like the culture mm. of yum cha. Yeah, which dim sum is your favorite? Right. Uh, siu mai or? Um, not siu mai. Maybe like um, ha gao I like. Um, actually chicken feet. Oh, chicken, <laughs> chicken feet. Chicken feet is my favorite, yeah. Wow. I eat the whole thing, the bone, everything. The bone also eat? Yeah. You can eat, you Good collagen. Good collagen, good for the skin. I think it's going to be great. In the beginning, he didn't like it. He's only seven years old, so he started when he was around four. So same age as my daughter. He was a bit resistant, you know, because he's your dad teaching you and I'm very strict in the class. My style of teaching is very strict, but now he really likes it because now he's a very competitive kid. Same as me, he's very competitive. So I'm very proud of him because he really, really tries out with everything. If he wants to play 15 minutes of game, um, we, have to, we have an agreement of what he has to do with homework, mathematics and writing, and then 
maybe 20 minutes of physical stuff until he's really sweating, okay, then now you can have a game. This way I'm teaching him how to earn also what mm -hmm. he wants. You have to earn it. You have to do the things you have to do and then you can have the fun stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So today, with Nima Sifu, we've talked a lot about how to eat this good food and how to eat it, and then we've also found that it's a good food. It's actually a good Wing Chun Sifu, and it's also a good Wing Chun Sifu. So I'm happy Nima taught me how to eat this good food. So this episode of Eat Healthy Food is almost done. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.